Hey guys, Steven here, <clears throat> with another very exciting Minecraft video. I apologize, I had flying on. In this video, we are going to be making my most favorite redstone creation of all time, and that is the seven segment display. It is a, uh, a monitor, so to speak. One of the most basic monitors you can have. It has seven... Uh, segments of three pixels each, where each pixel is one redstone torch. It lets you display numbers and letters. And this is great for hooking up to calculators or uh, games, really anything where you need a number or a letter, although it is obviously limited by the seven segments. But you can still have many, many, many combinations. So this I've used in my different calculators before, and uh, this is what it looks like at night. looks really good. I like to use a white background with uh, black so the torches stand out, but you can use black and black or really anything. And if your redstone torches are a different color, then that works too. I'm using the default texture pack for this so that people can follow it really easily who are using the default texture pack. And I'm going to go ahead and switch it to daytime, and this will be the last bit of cheating that we do. <laughs> uh, I did also, I recently got an awesome mod called Too Many Items. Whenever you open your inventory, it lets you drag in any item that you want. Which is really cool, and you can like get rid of them. You can get as many of whatever as you want to, and you can hold up to uh, 255 of each item. It's pretty cool. But I only use this for, uh, you know, tutorials. Uh, I did finish the tic tac toe game, but we're not going to talk about that in this video. Uh, and let me. Uh... Okay, don't want to be distracted. So this is what our display looks like. First, we're going to build the frame. Then we're going to build the uh, scaffolding, which is wiring, and then we're going to hook up the logic to it. Now I'll say that this design is going to be verbatim from the Xbox nut. A very good friend of mine who actually taught me this and really got me into redstone in the first place. Uh, without him, I never would have made my computer or anything like it. So definitely a big shout out to him. I'm going to link to him because he, he deserves it. He definitely deserves... Uh, everyone's views and subscriptions he's building a uh, computer right now a full computer that you can program and that can run programs which is pretty cool and uh yeah so i guess let's go ahead and get started um i think i'm gonna need some more wool so i apologize i'm gonna go ahead and grab some right here oh i had some never mind so <clears throat> to get started i'm just gonna build this over here opposite we're gonna need to build our frame and uh, I'm gonna, I have a full one over here that I'm gonna use to refer to for some of the stuff that I, I typically forget how to do because although I, I consider myself to be quite good at this, I wouldn't say that I'm perfect by any means. And we can all, f you know, forget things from time to time. So it's good to keep a reference. So our first segment is this bottom one here, and I just like to go ahead and put all the torches before it gets to be uh, too far along. And uh, I'm using black wool and white wool to give you a nice contrast. The, um, it's important to use different colors for this, because uh, for me anyway, because when you're wiring up the back, you really need to know which uh, block a torch is on. And we're going to be using some pretty basic redstone stuff that can get really complicated if you're not careful. So again, we'll go ahead and put the torches. Oop, three, like so. And then, um, but yeah, this... These are really fun to do. I mean, they're not that fun to build, I guess, but once you have one, it's pretty much limitless possibilities. I'm going to turn off the weather. Sorry, guys. Oh, sash weather sun. What? Weather. Okay. Uh, weather. Off? I don't know. <laughs> Sun, weather, rain. There we go, rain turned off. Okay. One, two, three, and. Hey, three more torches. And our display, you're going to want it to go out. Let me look at this one to make sure. Yeah, four blocks of white in order to fully hide the wires. If you don't care about hiding the wires, don't worry about it. But it's going to go out for like this. So it looks just like that one. And, um, so, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off the numbers, and then we'll put the extra wool on when we're done. I was stupid and filled this in prematurely, I believe, anyway. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. But, 
yeah. So let's see. I guess we can talk about stuff while we're doing this. Let's see. This week I'm hitting big, big 2,500 subscribers, which is a big deal to me. Hopefully a big deal to some of you that actually care about my channel. Um, I finally, let's see, today is my last day of exams, so for the rest of the summer, I'm starting a new job on Monday, but apart from that, I will pretty much be able to do whatever uh, as far as recording and whatnot goes, so I'm hoping to be able to give you guys more content, as it were. We might need to get more wool again. <laughs> Alright, so there's those three. Boy, this is going to be really hard without our handy dandy compass, but well, I said I wouldn't cheat, so I'm going to do my best not to. Although, I guess it's kind of sad if you have to try to not cheat. Anyway, um, oops, too much. I, I kind of want to do a little mini series on the seven second nose play because you know I did I did my full adder tutorial right where I showed you how you can very easily make a uh, rudimentary calculator and uh, unfortunately the output we were kind of limited to a, to a binary output of sorts and people didn't really like that because it's difficult to see um, <clears throat> what your answer actually is and what to do with it so with with this we have the benefit of uh, really being able to tell what's going on because we can completely set what our output is with these guys and you don't need a whole lot of uh, knowledge prior knowledge to do this so it's good okay and you don't need that much redstone to make one of these I haven't counted but it's not really that much because um, I recall making these with legit mine materials before I got into doing uh, heavy tutorials. So yeah, this is the basis of our display. To cover up your wiring, you would extend this out one more column and this one out two to get four from here. So one, two, three, four. But let's go ahead and start our wiring. And I, again, have to reiterate what a wonderful help the Xbox nut was in all this. Uh, so we're going to do each segment one by one and test it before we go on to the next one. The, it doesn't matter where you start, but I'll tell you, it's easiest if you start from the bottom and go up to the top. So I'm just gonna kinda do them and explain what we're doing, but mostly I just kinda wanna build it. So this bottom one here uh, is the only time you have to dig down in the whole thing. It, uh, I'm gonna use red for the scaffolding so you can very obviously tell what uh, you need to build. Um, and then I'll try to cut out the extra blocks like these that you don't need to have in there, just so you can see what all is required of it but um and you know what actually i think i might have screwed this up hold on a second no i think we're okay not really paying attention as possibly as diligently as i should be uh oh you know what yeah we need to have this come down i apologize everyone okay so here's what we'll do first we'll put up these right here and the idea is um for these is to, if you put power through this torch, you see this black block is one that we put a torch on, and if you put power through it, torch turns off. So we're gonna do this to all the torches so that we can control when they turn on, right? Rather than uh, when, they're, when they're off. So this is gonna be our input through the back here, and we'll run a line through here, and you can see how it's blinking like that need to uh, cover these up so if you right click on the intersection with this block it will do so so now if we go around to the front we can see by default our our thingy is off our segment excuse me the bottom segment what I like to call the uh, let's see this a B C the D segment is off and if we put power to it it's on so perfect we now have full control over the bottom haha -ha. So that is useful for many, many different things. So next, let's do this one right here. This is the um, a, the B segment. We're gonna do uh, out, I believe three here, two here, and two here. Then we just kind of connect these guys together, like so. 
And then we're gonna um, place one, I believe, here. Get on top of it. And I'm gonna try to hide these as best as I can. There might be a more compact way to do it, I don't really care. So each of these has to flow into the block. So this one goes into the block here. This one goes into the block, into the block, and into the block here. And then if we apply power to this, we will see that the whole thing has turned off. So we have full control over that one. So the difference you'll notice is this one is off by default, whereas this one is on by default, so we have to power it. So later on, we're gonna need to remember that when this is like when this is off, the torches are actually off. Whereas when this one is on, our torches are off. So it's a bit confusing, but it's important to remember. So let's see the other side, we're gonna do the mirror image, exactly the same thing. So I, I probably won't explain uh, too much depth why. Oh, excuse me, that was supposed to say there. And once again, we'll take this out and this one here. And um, I hope this is kind of clear what to do. I probably shouldn't have used red wool and red wiring, but I think there's enough of a contrast with this texture pack. So um, what I like to do next is uh, this guy right here. Uh, this segment, excuse me. And we have to be kind of careful with these middle ones, and I'll show you why. So our first block, we're going to place it directly in the center here with a torch on top. And we're actually going to build this exact same thing, but floating in the air. And in order to build it floating in the air, we have to uh, do things slightly differently at, at times. So I'm going to try to keep from falling down as much as I have been. So this is where it's going to go up you can see we're building it directly on top of it. So the the torch will go here. See, the same pattern is kind of emerging. And I'd like to build this uh, in the daytime. Three, two, okay. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. We put our torches on this guy and another one over here and leading up to this block as well and you'll see that these kind of come down and hit our bottom segments so what we're going to do is right click on the intersection with a piece of wool and that's going to cut that off so they're no longer interfering and that's really really important I can't stress how important that is and down here you see we have the same problem we had before so we're going to put wool over these come on now pa. and then uh, we will Oops, excuse me. Do our do our same principle here that we did on the bottom of uh, connecting all three of these lines together. Oops, so that they're all controlled by the same input. Run this over the top of the block. And voila, we have the exact same thing that we had on the bottom, just with some uh, bottom scaffolding. And let's see. So I'm going to run this one to the ground next to this guy. Okay, so we want ideally at the end, we're going to have all these one block apart, which is the minimum, or sorry, yeah, the minimum distance they can be apart from each other without interfering. So I'm going to run this out like so. Okay, so now we can connect this, and let's give it a test, shall we? Um, first, so we're looking at the middle segment, which is the uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G segment, okay? So it's off right now because we haven't applied any power to it. And if we go and power it, like so. We will find that it is on. Exactly what we expected. So, fantastic. Couldn't be happier with that result. So that's great. Let's move on to the, uh, the top left and the top right. Although, of course, if you're looking at it from the front, this is the top right, so-called A segment, and this is the top left, the so-called um, um, E segment, I believe. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, yeah, okay. So let's get on up here. We're going to use our old ones as scaffolding. Uh, pro tip from Xbox Nut. We're actually going to build the exact same thing on the top that we did on the bottom, because this is a very efficient means to wire it. And keep in mind that this would be filled with white wool if I was not so lazy and had actually filled it in. Uh, this can be a bit tricky with navigating to the top, so I, I think I'm going to uh, jump up to here first, build our, our, our two, this one comes out uh, three. 
Oops. And actually this one goes like so. And we bring our one out. And let's do our same wiring as before. You might recognize these little loops. You have to make sure this is a straight line pointing into the block. Which is why I suggest you more or less copy this. But if you find a better way to do it, by all means, please do so. So we have our segment wired up. Now what we need to do is bring the line to the ground so that we can control it on the same level as the others. So what we'll do is uh, we're going to pick it off from right here, I think. We're just going to make stairs. Oops. Or squares. <laughs> okay. We'll delete these extra blocks because they're a bit annoying to me. And let's... Oops take it uh, down like so, and the final block leading to the ground. So we'll jump on the stairs here to wire it up, and let's give it a test. This is one of our outside blocks uh, on the left and right, so we know we need to power it to turn it off. And if we see the thing off right now, we know that it is functioning properly because it's on by default, and of course it is off. So fantastic. Things are going, I would say, swimmingly. And just to keep track, let's see how many segments we have left to do. I've turned off all the ones we've completed. Looks like we have two left, the top left and the top. So I think for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side since we know what we have to do. And it'll go quickly. And then the top one, uh, which I consider the top middle one, I consider to be the most difficult just because it's a pain to get it uh, down to the ground compared to the others, uh, but ultimately, not really that tricky, I guess, and I'm going to do the same trick I did on the other side, jump up here, and then replace this block. So we'll take this guy out uh, three total, uh, this guy out one, of course, and oh no, I fell. <laughs> what a pain. Yeah, this is a bit difficult without uh, flight, which I'm not particularly fond of, but I gotta admit sometimes it's pretty helpful. Oh my gosh, I have done it again. Haha. -ha. Oh no. I hope the Xbox nut is not too mad at me for shamelessly ripping off his tutorial, but I thought it was interesting that I had never actually made one of these tutorials myself, considering how often I use this thing, and I think you guys can certainly attest to that fact. So, we'll take this guy, oops, not there. Take this guy out three. We'll do our uh, usual wiring. And underneath, don't forget to bring it around, like so. So let's take this to the ground. We're going to try to bring it just inside of this line right here. So we'll bring this guy out some. And because uh, remember, we want all these to line up without going outside the wool boundary to maintain our image or our illusion that this is some sort of autonomous unit that doesn't require redstone, when we know, of course, that it does. So we're going to actually do the exact same thing that we did on the other side. So we'll go straight down and then in one, like this, and then out one. And I'm going to kill all these extra blocks, because I personally think they're tacky if you don't need them. Of course, slightly unrealistic, but <laughs> I wouldn't say that much in this game is realistic. So we're going to turn it off in order to test it. And lo and behold, it's off. We have one more segment to do, and then our display, or at least the uh, the output of the display itself is finished. Uh, driving the display with a signal is another thing entirely, which we will look at later. So for the top, we're going to do the same thing as the middle and the same thing as the bottom. We first start with our turning off our middle segment. Uh, from here... We'll put blocks here, and then uh, out from here, too. And I'm not going to bother with uh, deleting the extras right now, since we're so high up in the air. It's a bit of a pain. Oh. hope this isn't too confusing to look at, but in reality it may be. So let's go ahead and get our structure here set up. We have uh, these going out, which go up to the block. And as you can see, we have the same problem again with cross-contamination. So very simple. We will put our cursor over this block, right-click, and cut off the current. Right now, this redstone, it can't connect. It's a very, very convenient trick. And uh, we see the same thing happening here. And once we fix this down here, I believe we 
we'll be able to address that. So let's connect these the same way that we did with the others. We uh, bring the signals around to the tops, and it's going to start blinking really crazily because we have an infinite loop there. So we'll just cut them off with these two blocks. So as you can see, we have a perfect gap right here for our final signal to drop down to. So we're going to do a very elaborate stair pattern in order to get it there. We will begin by doing this. Ugh. Oops. And really, however you're able to finagle this without screwing anything up should just be fine. Would not stress too much about that. I'm kind of making it up as I go right now. Because I always forget this part. Okay, let's do this. Then, okay, no. See, we need to go back a bit. Sorry, team. Perfect. Look at that. So here's our final output here, or input, I should say, to the output. We'll just climb up the stairs to retrace our steps. Oh, look. It looks like we have room to uh, clear out some unnecessary blocks here, so let's do that. So I would suggest doing uh, this right Oops. here. But as long as as long as your wire ends up in the right place, it's not a big deal. The issue is making sure that the current can reach the top from the bottom uh, without needing to use any repeaters. In this design, you don't need to use any repeaters. So it's off by default. Let's uh, power it and see if it turns on. OK, it does. So our whole display is now completely controllable. So let's wire everything so that it's off by default out here. And uh, then we can set up our driver, which I believe we'll do in the next part of this. I'd like you guys to go ahead and build your thing first, and then we'll you know, really worry about what to, what to do with it. Uh, so we're gonna need to, I'm gonna use some redstone repeaters for this, make things easier. Uh, keep in mind, you only need to, inv we're gonna need to invert our, um, our outside outputs. So let's do it from about here, because this is the furthest thing we can go. We'll need a repeater here, uh, here, because this is the middle, and here, because this is our, um, the middle of the whole board. So from right here, we'll put our uh, first inverter. We're just going to turn that one off. We'll put another inverter here to turn the uh, top left one, or sorry, bottom left one off. And then I think I'm actually going to uh, move these inverters back one so that all these blocks can go in at the same point. But we're going to have to test this and make sure it does work. Oops. Okay, so looks like we're able to control all of our blocks now. You could just bring these lines out, and each of these segments, you can figure out what number is which. For example, the number one would just be uh, the two leftmost segments. The number eight is every single segment. The number zero is all the segments except the middle one. Simple things like this. So when we go out here, we expect to see all of our segments turned off. And if they're not, then I did something wrong. And of course they are. So let's practice making a number really quickly. Um, let's do uh, like we did on the other one, the number seven. So that's going to be our top middle segment, which is this one. And then our two left segments, which are these two right here. So let's turn these on and go check out what we have as a result. So we see our top one and our left two. We've made the number seven. Let's look at it. Oops. Let's look at it at night, and that's gorgeous. It lights up just nice, and you can actually put a roof over this if you don't want to have to switch it tonight to see it uh, more clearly. But I think that about does it for this. We've made our display. Uh, we don't quite have our what you would call the driver or the, or the driving logic for our display, but this right here, these seven inputs, you can hook up to, to really any, any calculator of sorts or any uh, game or logical mechanism that you've created to uh, to display your output in a meaningful way. And I definitely like to encase these in some kind of enclosure to make it look more like a monitor. You can see on my 
let's see on my on my old single player world i put it in kind of a uh, like a like a macintosh it was an imac uh monitor enclosure you can put them in a square like the tic-tac-toe board there really whatever you think looks good just make sure you don't ever ever touch these black blocks right here that the uh the torches are on the white ones here we can destroy safely because nothing is touching them so anyways uh thank you very much i hope you found this informative uh please check out the xbox nuts videos for what you can do with this i'll be i'll be posting a bit of a guide to follow if people found this informative and helpful in any way but uh yes thank you and enjoy